really thank whoever voted for me. Yeah, it's a good thing that they, I hope they don't get their eyes checked because I might not have made it. But uh, I'm uh, I'm very honored to be here. It's, it's quite a recognition thing in your own area to go back home and get something like this. I'm really extraordinarily pleased. In an event like this, I mean, you've been through these things obviously before, but whenever anyone acknowledges you and what you did for sports with the Hall of Fame, it's got to mean something no matter what age you are in your life. Well, uh, it means that, uh, you know, your name, you won't be forgotten. Uh, your name will go on a list and will be there forever and ever. And uh, that's one way of, uh, uh, of living a little bit longer after I'm gone. Do, what are your memories of uh, living in this region? Oh, I, uh, I enjoy this region. I enjoy the St. Louis area. I enjoy people, you know, they open, you open a door for them and say thank you, uh, which is kind of getting rare now and then. And um, been a lot of good people that just want to, you know, be friends with you, you know, regardless if you're a sports figure or just ordinary people, you know, people open the door for other people and saying thank you. So it's a good community. Yeah, you can't assume that's going to happen everywhere you go in life. No, it doesn't happen that way. Do you, how closely do you still follow the NFL? Do you stand? Um, I don't do it as much as I, I used to. Um, what I do do when I, when I do watch it, I watch it with the sound off because you're bombarded all the time with per, superfluous things that don't matter. And I don't want to know when a guy was arrested or whatever happened. I just want to know his ability on the field. So by turning that volume off, you see what's actually going on inside the game. And I appreciate that a lot more. In fact, it's really funny. My wife will come and ask for me I can hear upstairs yelling for where I am. And then she'll open the basement door and she says, I know what, you're down there watching a football game with sound off. And I said, yeah, you found me. So I enjoy watching the game. It's a, it's a great game. Will you watch the Super Bowl then? Oh yeah, I'll be watching the Super Bowl. Do you have any predictions on that? Um, Atlanta has a great shot. Um, they have a fantastic quarterback. He might be the next uh, Brady. Um, but I'm probably go with the experience and, and uh, dedication of the players that uh, New England has. Uh, they've been there before and done it. That means a lot. Um, it's going to be. Uh, keeping control of the ball, they'll turn the ball over uh, regardless. Uh, don't let anybody build up momentum as that has a tendency to snowball. So you want to keep it as even. I guess the first quarter, second quarter will probably be a little even. Then uh, third quarter and the fourth quarter is going to be, you know. Your defense will get you into the playoffs and into the Super Bowl, but your offense has to score one more point.